Hello. Welcome back to me and my art. This is my character from Carmen. For this video, I wanted to just do like a quick little speed, speed paint of me coloring all this. I might just do this and maybe this is still needs to be finished. Maybe I'll do this too. Depends on how I feel. Hope you enjoy. Maybe a few of you have caught on that I'm very much inspired by the artist to make a- Oh shoot! My fan's on. <laughs> really like her art. It was my main inspiration growing up, like around 7th grade. I think you can see some of her art style is still in mine. Yeah. No complaints though, I liked her art style. Her art style was quite awesome. Speed paint time. Yeah, and the, this is the- oh, This is the uh, watercolor I used. My palette's dying. The red, the red's almost gone. <laughs> the white, I need to get more stuff. Maybe, maybe I should actually like talk a bit about this character. I can care more about him. This, this is my character, Carmen. I've had him, he is one of my oldest original characters. He's been around since like seventh grade. He is, he is, he doesn't really have a specific like set story yet. I kind of came up with something right here. I just jotted down some things that I want to incorporate into his story, but I don't know if I'll actually go, like, I don't, it can always change. I'm not, like, this isn't his set story but I'm getting there. For a long time, he didn't even have a story, just was a character I drew every so often, along with this, the other character on the other side, Zach. So with the story idea that I have going right now, he's just, he's like a, obviously he's not entirely human. I haven't decided how he became not human because he, he was born human, stuff happened, and now he's not entirely human. He's still part human. Yeah, fun stuff. The same with the Zack guy. I'm not gonna get entirely into it because I still don't really know. He is Filipino-American. He's a cool guy. He is a welder and a painter. He's super creative. He makes his own clothes. He kind of has to because after he became a weird human hybrid thing, he had to like run away. Like no one was... It was honestly... <laughs> In um, the story so far, he didn't really have to. He just got scared that people would like hunt him down, which is like a fair assumption, but he just assumed the absolute worst. And he left all of his friends and family and ran away. And now he lives in a junkyard by himself with a bunch of farm animals <laughs> that he raises. He makes his own clothes and stuff because he kind of has to. He can't just go and buy things because he doesn't really have a job. He did work. He did work at the local gas station before he like became stuff. He became the hybrid thing at, oh, sorry. He was born, um, he became like the human hybrid. He became the human, he became the human hybrid thing um, when he was like 21. Again, a lot of this isn't set in stone. It's just stuff I jotted down. He's either, I don't remember the zodiac sign. He's either a Libra or a Scorpio. I don't remember which one comes first. Oh, my rat's drinking water. I have two rats, by the way. One, um, Aqua and Twig. And I think I'm going to get another tomorrow named Matt. It's not very ideal to get a rat by itself. You're usually, you you should really get them in pairs or in a group, but at the local rescue shelter. Um, a rat named Matt, his, uh, he needs a home and we have space. So we're gonna see how it works out. And if it doesn't work out, we'll have to find him a better place. But yeah, I 
I love rats. They love being loud. And you know, no, no one ever at, no no one ever talks about how rats just make so much noise at night. Like it's not even like the usual like they're drinking water. Should I be not talking through him? I don't know. Like not even just like oh they he's drinking water. It's they're fighting and squeaking as hard as they can and tumbling around and breaking things. Well, not breaking things, chewing things. And like, it genuinely gets me so frustrated sometimes. One time I just gave up and slept in the living room because they were so loud. I love them to death, but gosh, they can be little garbage men. Yeah, but Carmen, he has a special place in my heart. I've had him, he's been a character of mine forever. I've said that already, but I'm saying it again, because you don't understand. He was the first character that I ever got fan art for. That was insane. And I think he's the only character. No, actually my friends have made fan art for me, which counts, because it's fan art no matter what. But some random complete stranger on the internet was like, it's okay if I draw your character. And I was like, holy crap. I was literally in seventh grade. Um, so that was like mind boggling to me. I want to find, I'm gonna find it. And if you like, I, my, okay. I first started making art and posting it on Art Omi, Art and Osi's Amino. Oh my gosh, that was a while ago. So if you recognize this character and you're like, hmm, that reminds me of this person who drew the thing on the, thing it's probably mine <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna try what... oh that's insane i didn't think i'd actually find it yeah this is carmen that's pretty crazy yeah this was seventh grade um so if you recognize this good on you you're you've been on the internet way too long he kind of looks you can see the similarities but not really he's got the hoodie he's got the weird hair he had purple hair, not no more. That's so cool. Okay, I need to get on with John. I'm sorry, but that 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 was an awesome thing. Okay, anyways. Draw time. Paint time. I'm gonna shut up and just go. I'm not really good at deciding colors. I know his main color palette is like pink and red and stuff, but I don't, I feel like adding red or pink on top of pinkish is just gonna make it look weird. It's kind of purple. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Moving on, I'm painting now. I can't talk and draw at the same time if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I honestly, I don't know if I'm using watercolors right. I'm kind of learning because I take art classes at school, but also not really because we we don't really learn how to use Eno. In our school, they just teach you different techniques and then they just give it to you and you, you just do things. I, I've learned a bit. I'm sorry, my rats are so loud. There's no stopping it. I've learned a bit, but I feel like there's a lot I need to learn. I've learned a lot since the be- I've learned a lot since the beginning of the sketchbook, which you'll s Bro. Appa. You'll see how much I've improved since the beginning of the sketchbook in my sketchbook tour, which 
stay tuned super close to being done like insanely close and i'm so happy i love the sketchbook it but the more i look back at old drawings in the sketchbook the more i because eh, i'm like i have improved so much since then it's kind of eh, but i'm happy i'm happy with the stuff i've been doing and yeah at the beginning of the sketchbook i wasn't even i was too scared to even use watercolor you can see like it's like the actual the second page is of zach and carmen and i use like these really crappy <laughs> markers to color them and it's just really bad and i don't even color them all the way because i was just too scared and you'll see that in like the first few pages of my sketchbook watercolor is so fun i'd say give it a try at first it isn't fun because you're confused and you don't know how to use it and all that and i i'm still confused and don't know how to use it but a bit less i say try just try it out it's super fun just experiment with all sorts of mediums i'm bad at that <laughs> now that i'm comfortable with watercolor it's all i use i'm having i'm having the urge to make his pants blue like a what's the word? jeans blue but i don't know how it's gonna look like one of, like this washed out kind of blue this one color theory is my weak ist part like because carmen would he would mismatch and well i mean because he doesn't really have a choice he can't just match he doesn't have money or access to society i need a slightly more washed out grayish blue I kinda like it. Kinda looks. I like it. Red's gonna go here. Purple and red and stuff. Maybe the shoes will be red or purple. I feel like purple would be better. You don't often see purple shoes. Comment down below if you're a purple shoes wearer. I wish I was a purple shoes wearer. I'm a black shoes wearer because I'm lame. Well, my shoes are kind of cool. They got flowers and stuff on them. What color are your shoes? Comment down below now his shoes are dirty because he's a dirty dude okay i'm back i'm sorry i thought i thought the camera i thought it wasn't recording the entire time but no we're all good i probably would have started crying to be honest oh i don't know what color his eyes should be because he's like a little demon dude dark red that'd be kind of cool be like a oh, that would be pretty cool hold on i gotta mix that color okay this could be a hit or not hit it's pretty sick it's like a mixture of red ish and purple ish those are my favorite colors if you couldn't tell i use them the most in my art so I figured they're probably my favorite colors. It's just, they look so neat, especially when they're mixed together. Gosh, I'm, I keep checking because I'm afraid that it's like not recording. That's happened to me before many times. If you didn't know, I have um, an old channel that I deleted all the videos off because it was cringy and not the way I wanted to start my YouTube channel. Um, so if you know me from my previous channel, good on you. Uh, forget that that exists. Sorry, I'm, I'm apologizing to future me who has to edit out all of those ums that I'm saying. Uh, sorry. Cry, I guess. I probably will cry.
think I am about done. No, no, no. There we are. I think that's about done. Also, I'll be posting this on my Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram at Toasted Rat. The O in Toasted is a zero. I've had that a lot longer. I'll probably be a lot more active over there, but it depends. Cause I've been very, pretty inactive lately just cause I've been so ridiculously busy lately. Well, at least it feels like it. If you're from my Instagram, hi. It's a bit scary to be honest because you don't know what my voice sounds like. That was a big, that's been, I honestly, I've contemplated deleting the first video a few times already just cause I don't want people hearing my voice. It's quite annoying. No, I'm a fake. I'm, f I'm so, I don't, I forgot the, I, I kind of, it's like, can I finish a goddamn sentence? I forgot the colors to the Filipino flag. So I'm searching that up. There. <laughs> I'm a fake fan. If anyone cares, I'm part Filipino. That's why I made him Filipino. Yeah, fun fact. Yeah, I know it's hard to tell because of how insanely <laughs> pale I am, but yeah. It's not like, oh, I'm 2% Filipino. <laughs> I'm not gonna give my whole life story. I don't have to prove myself to you. I'm part Filipino, that's all you need to know. Filipino flag is red. I knew this. I was just double checking because I'd be bad if I got it wrong. It'd be silly of me. And also he's part American, like myself. No, it doesn't matter. It's red. It's red now. And he's also pan. I also forgot the colors of the pan flag. I, he has always been pan. As long as he's existed, he, that hasn't changed about him. Maybe sometimes I was like, yeah, he, he's always been pan. Oh wait, I just searched up pan. I didn't search up pan flag. I just searched up images for pan. It's gonna be red again, cause I don't want it look so pink. Uh oh, it's fine. It's okay. I think that's dry. Yeah. Don't do what I just did. If you're trying to check if your watercolor is dry, just like move it, see if it's like reflecting. But it's dark in here. It's nighttime. I can't. I'm too lazy. Awesome. And this is also blue. I don't care enough about the American flag to make it look good. Who cares? Not me. My yellow is so jacked up. <laughs> Look at that, that's horrifying. I like have this constant fear that it is not filming. For my old channel I was filming and I was also doing, oh, that's a very, it's okay. <laughs> but I was filming something that was also about my OCs and it was also a speed paint talk and draw thing. It just, I, so much footage was lost. Like it skipped from me sketching to like, of painting like it there was a whole gap and i gave up on editing it i think that's kind of why i gave up on that old channel because it just it was irredeemable at that point it was it was cursed from the beginning if you know me from that old channel you're an og you're a toaster og carmen i i thought of this and i think it's so funny carmen thinks that velcro shoes are the best invention ever as he's lazy and he doesn't like tying up his shoes also, I don't know where they exist in time, because based off his get up, he could be from recent times. He also has that weird Neopets thing. Do you know the thing that everyone had? The thing? You know what it is. I don't know. He's not like, he's like fresh. He's like a new immortal. Like he is like a few weeks into being immortal. He's not like... A thousand years old. He's still 21. This is a finished thing. I might. 
I might. I'm, I'm probably gonna end up adding more stuff. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to see more of him, just say so and I'll do more. Uh, and I, yeah, I think I'll end up doing the other side and making it into a video. Okay, have a good day or don't. I don't have control over that. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.